I'm Dan Benhart, Product Support Specialist at Minitoyo America Corporation. In this episode, we're going to discuss basic use and maintenance of our thickness gauges. Before use, clean the spindle with a lint-free cloth. Make sure that a washer is used between the spindle and the lifting lever. Take care not to loosen any of the retaining screws unnecessarily. This includes the contact point, the anvil, the spindle, the spindle lifting lever, and the screws on the back of the indicator. Move the spindle through its full range and check for any sticking or jamming. And lastly, check that the indicator reads zero when the contact point and anvil are in contact. And if they're not, press the origin button, it's the big blue button at the center of the indicator, press and hold for about two seconds, and that'll reset the zero. During use, do not move the spindle rapidly. You also want to avoid applying force to the spindle in the transverse direction. If the zero point gets displaced during measurement, it must be reset before proceeding. Do not attempt to change out the contact point. If replacement is needed, contact Minitoyo. If the gauge is used for extended periods of time, reset the origin frequently to compensate for thermal expansion of the frame. When you finish your measurements, Check the indicator for any damage. If any is found, arrange for repair or replacement. Clean the gauge, but do not lubricate the spindle. To ensure that the contact point and the anvil do not ring together, insert a piece of lightly oiled paper between them prior to storage. Store the gauge in a room free from excessive heat, moisture, dust, and oil mist. For more information on our thickness gauges or to download our checkpoints for measuring instruments brochure, visit www.mitatoyo.com.